Uh, Mark Davis with the Blastmaster Karis One. Yeah. Black Pegasus Music dot Blogspot dot com. Now I just gotta. It's kind of. I want you to elaborate on something for me. I'm gonna drop some. Uh, Mastermind Productions. Pat Miller. Keyboard Money Mike. Yes. Said G. Scott LaRock. SB12. Ultra Magnetic MCs. Yes. MC. Yes. And a relationship with Boogie Down Productions. I ain't waited 15 years plus mm. to ask you that. Damn. But his Real relationship. Talk. On 166th Street in Boston Road in the Bronx, I was uh, in a homeless shelter there. Scott LaRock was the social worker at the shelter, and I was one of the clients. There was another guy named Funk Master, the original Funk Master from a graffiti crew called the Rascals. And Funk Master was a security guard at the shelter. Funk Master heard me and Just Ice in the bathroom of the shelter beating on the wall. And Just Ice was doing Latoya back then on the wall. We used to go, I used to do the beat, and he used to be like, Latoya. Latoya. So I used to do the beat, and he used to do the Latoya. So Funk Master heard it and said, Yo, there's a dude in the projects named Said G, and he got this new machine, a new sampler. And uh, you got to go check him. So I went over there. Now, here's the deal. I'm coming out the shelter. I'm dirty. I stink. My clothes is like, I'm out the shelter. They didn't judge me. I'll never forget this about said G, okay? When I met said G, he was chilling. He was fresh from head to toe. He was eating every day. I walked in his house. I'm the homeless guy. I walk in. First thing, his mom sat me down. His mom sat me down and put a plate of food in front of me. I didn't ask for the food or nothing, but I guess they assumed. She put the mac and cheese out with the same. It just was like out of a, like out of a, a play book, like an African-American recipe book. You know, mac and cheese, collard greens, fried fish, candied. Yeah, it was like a Thanksgiving dinner. I sat down, now I'm from the shelter. Everything's plastic and styrofoam. This is the first time in like nine, maybe even a year, that I see a ceramic plate and a steel fork. And I never forget, I, my hand couldn't adjust to the fork. I, I couldn't pick the fork up because it was a steel fork or silver or whatever it was. But I was so used to little plastic forks and styrofoam like for about a year. So I'm sitting in said G house. His mom's come lay out the food. I almost bit the plate. Dude, I was like, yo, I scoffed that down. Anything said G said at that moment, if he said, yo, go up the block and kill that dude, I was out. Yeah. Sure, if he said, yo, I need you to do I, anything he said at that moment, I was with it. Luckily, he said, yo, spit your rhyme. <laughs> no problem. I start lacing him. Start giving him stuff about nuclear war and the universe and Malcolm X. And he was like, yo, ain't nobody rhyming like that. I didn't know. I was, These are my rhymes. This is how I get down. So said G was like, yo, you got to, come on, I got to record you tomorrow. I came back the next day. I'm in his room. This time now he brings like five, six other MCs. Cool Keith is like 11 years old. Cool Keith is like, he's a little guy running around listening to us rock. <laughs> like, this is just amazing to me, like, who Keith, Cool Keith is now. But that then, Cool Keith was real young, said G, and his brother Pat, rest in peace. So these five MCs are in there, and they have the all rhymes. You know, um, this, you know, like Run DMC, you know, I'm D, he's Run, I'm J, he's D, we gonna rock this V, da 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 da. He was going like that. So I'm coming with, that's all single, single, no more, no laugh. That's how I was going. I'm like doing 16, but I ain't never heard that. You know, this is before poetry was, that's before Eric B and Rock, this is before all the styles changed. It was all Run DMC style. So said G caught me, he said, yo, let's make demos together. So technically, I'm the first member of Ultra Magnetic. Right. Technically, right. I could have, it could have easily, if said G said, no, nah, I don't want you to go with Scott LaRock. You should be here. I'd be like, I'm sorry, Scott. I'm here with said G. This is what, I was focused on said G. And it wasn't about the music. It was about the food. <laughs> <laughs> it was about the food and the warm plate. And to be in a room, like, outside the shelter, I was like, I can live here forever. I'm homeless. Right. Dude invited me in his bedroom. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know this might not mean anything to anybody, but when you homeless and somebody invites you in their house and you living in the street, I was like, love, dude, what forever, whatever. And so it just so happened. We, he meets Scott. And then Scott start handing them records and say, I want you to chop this up. I want you to sample this. I want you to play this. So Seji would get the records from Scott and he would chop them up into what you now hear as criminal minded. Seji produced that whole album, uh, other than The Bridge is Over and maybe Elementary. I produced The Bridge is Over. Scott did Elementary. Um, but everything else on that album, um, is said G. The program, even the second bridges, the first, the original bridges over was me, but the second bridges over was said G. And Craig, uh, Greg Nice from Nice and Smooth. Uh, when, when I was doing the bridges over, Greg Nice was there at Alert, and everybody was just adding eight pieces. Like the, we did it in one take. So it's like I jumped up. I just started. The bridge is over. The bridge. So as we were going, we'll get back to that. 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 I had a um, <laughs> you sound like 50. You sound like 50. That's what he said. He's like, yo, I was from Queens. I had to. I'm over here, 88, man. Hey, so how come you never got a chance? You didn't do an ultra never. Oh. Yeah, one more question. Last one. Come on, quick. How come you and ultra never recorded together? I don't know. I don't know. I would have been, you know, with cool kids. I don't know. You know what? And I'm going to say this right. I don't know. Because anytime said G asked me to record, I'm there. If he said record a full album for me right now, 2013, it would take me all of a weekend okay. uh, to, to really get that in. Ultra Magnetic is beyond a group to KRS. These dudes started me, like, from homelessness to producing the album. To, and then they went on and did their own thing. You know, this is a brilliant mind, said G. Brilliant. He just didn't get it like Dre respect or even Primo respect, you know, but the original dudes like that, these were geniuses. Like these dudes was hitting them drum machines, something awful. And all that sounds now is to be sold on a disc, right, right. you know, Pro Tools and, and Serato got everybody sounds on a disc. Right, right. That's what's up. Right. My man Chris, man, enough respect for that. Good brother. looking, no, no doubt. That's, that's real no sad. doubt. That was it. Big up, said G. What you got?